morning, everyone. Welcome once again. Ooh, ah, episode 90. Can you believe it? Wow. Well, I'm so happy that you joined me today. Thank you for coming. You can tell the eye is still giving me some problems. <sighs> Allergies are awful, you know. But don't worry, the Lord will get me through it. I trust in Him, and that's the way it's going to stay. All right, you guys, welcome once again. Today, I'm going to be shaving with my Tampa Shave Company's Tampa Edition Razor. Yes, there it is in all its glory. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I have the uh, Persona uh, Platinum Chrome Blade in here, and so I'll be using that. And I'll also be shaving with this soap with Sterling Executive Man. Yep, Sterling Executive Man. A beautiful, wonderful cologne scent. Ah, I love it. And to finish it up, I'll be using Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements La Tierra Mojada Shave Soap, Aftershave and Cologne. Not Shave Soap, Aftershave and Cologne. Thank you. Yes, very nice. And then I'll be using my 24 millimeter Galaxy brush from Tampa Shave Company. And I'll be doing the Chrome Dome in Fast Forward with, that's right, the Moto Head Blade. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, very good, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. There you have it. We're getting ready to get going. Are you free? It's a great question to ask. Hey, we live in the great United States of America. Are we really free? Well, unfortunately, because we sin, we're not free. In fact, we're a slave to sin. And I'm going to address this issue because there's something that we cannot escape on our own power. But the Lord has the power to set us free. All right, you guys, tune in for some more. Let's get down to the soaping. Please join me right now for the soaping. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the soaping. Yes, we have our lovely Executive Man Shave Soap, our 24 millimeter Galaxy Brush from Tampa Shave Company, and the bowl. The crusty, rusty bowl. Well, it's not rusty, but it's getting a little crusty. That's okay. One of these days, I am going to get myself a real shaving scuttle. That'll be a joy. It'll be a ceramic one. I love ceramics. Okay, let me go ahead and hydrate my brush. Not that I need to hydrate it that much, but it does take a little bit of time on synthetic. So synthetic brushes do not need a lot of time in the water. That's long enough right there. Okay, squeezing out the water from my brush. And now there's the soap. Let's load it up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad that you're here with me today. I ask for the Lord's blessings upon you, and I ask that the Lord would lead and guide you every single day and every step of the way. It is a wonderful thing to be in Him and to know the joy of His love. And I pray that you know that joy and that love every single day of your life. And if you haven't known it up until this point, I pray that you will know it from this day forward for the rest of your lives. All right, there's a loaded brush. Let's give that a whirl, shall we? We'll commit it to our bowl. Now this brush is pretty cool and it's very big. So even squeezing all the water out of it tends to hold moisture very well. And as you can tell, it's whipping famously already. I may not even need to add water to this. But we're giving it that good old whip and try here. Wow! 
Look at that. Just look at all that fluff. I love it. <laughs> yep, that'll do me just fine. I don't think I'm going to add any water to it now. Well, I may add a little bit more water to it later on before I shave my head. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to leave that with you. And I am going to set this in a nice place so that you can enjoy the luxurious creamy foam. And then I am going to grab God's word. All right, you guys, I'm opening up to John. John chapter 8, beginning at verse 31 and going all the way through verse 38. This is what it says. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are offspring of, David, of, of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly I say to you, Everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you're the offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me, because my word finds no place in you. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, a bittersweet message is before us, but let's take a look at it and see where it goes. All right, you guys, it's time for the shave and the devotion. Please join me. Hiya, guys. Are we having fun yet? Well, of course we're having fun. We're shaving, and we're hearing God's word. What's more fun than that? Don't answer that question, because your answer might not be appropriate. <laughs> okay, you guys, time for the hot to truck towel. Yes, that's right. It's plenty hot, and so now I present to you the towel. Very good. <coughs> lovely, lovely, and more lovely. All right, I'm setting the towel off to the side. And now we're going to lather it up. I'm going to scrape some of this off of here. I've got lots and lots and lots of lather on here. I need some, but not tons. Look at this. Just look at that. Beautiful coverage. Wonderful. And the smell is absolutely gorgeous. Yes. All right. We're coming along just fine here. Just a little bit more. There we go. Very nice. Are you free? If we're truly honest with ourselves, we have to admit that we're not free. Because you see, everyone sins. God's word tells us that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Now these people standing before Jesus, 
and listening to him and trying to follow him have found out that they really don't belong to him. That's a scary thought, by the way. Not belonging to him. Now, never mind the possibility that they could turn around and, and be a part of him. But you see, these particular people are seeking to kill him. You know? And let's face it. What kind a proponent, a person following somebody, would in one breath say, Hey, I want to follow you. And then in the next breath say, We're going to kill him. Certainly, there's a lot of dishonesty going on here. And a, ne and a neglection of the truth that's within them. But Jesus is bringing it to bear. You know? The point being that Jesus is the one who can free us. There's no one else who can free you. You know? You cannot pray this to the CEOs of several companies and have your sin released. It doesn't work. You must believe and trust and align yourself with Jesus Christ, the Lamb from God who takes away the sin of the world. It's just that simple. And so Jesus here is looking at these people and he knows. I mean, let's face it, he knows everything. He's in complete communication with his Father at all times. He knows. Therefore, no one can hide behind a curtain of deceit, if you will. They can't do it. Jesus sees through it all. And here in this lesson, they're calling him, they're calling them to account for their, for their devious plans to take away his life. I mean, <laughs> it just amazes me. How can you claim that you love somebody and then destroy them? You can't do that, my friends. It's just not a possibility. And so Jesus here is making it very clear that they are not, they are not the children of Abraham. They may have a lineage link, but the children of Abraham are the children that live by faith. Faith in the Son of God. They do not want to kill the heir. They do not want to kill the Holy One of God who has been sent to free all people from their sin. They don't want to do that. But these people do. And Jesus sees through their duplicity. He absolutely understands. All right? I got a weeper. Eh. Oh well. What can I say? <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, second pass, across the grain. So if the sun sets you free, as Jesus says, you will be free indeed, okay? But again, it only comes through Jesus. He's talking about himself here. He really is. And yet here these people sit in judgment upon Jesus, thinking they're all that. 
How do you feel before Jesus? Do you believe that you're all that? That you're untouchable? That God can't refuse you? If you think that way, I'm telling you with all seriousness, you're dead wrong. All right? Keep this in mind. Because we live with a Lord in in our presence constantly that knows us in and out. Remember, he can't. We can't escape him. He's there. He's inside of us. He understands all of our plans, all of our thoughts, all of our motives. He understands it from beginning to end. You can't fool him. And yet there is still the promise that if we believe in him, we shall be saved from our sin and preserved for eternal life. And the reason why I'm saying this, that here as it stands, these people before Jesus, their goose is cooked officially. They have no hope in them. They belong to their father, the devil, whose primary goal is to steal, kill, and destroy. And yet, do you not realize that the position of anyone could change? And I'm serious about this. People who believe in the Lord can turn their back on him and find themselves condemned. And people who have been working their entire life against him can in a moment have a change of heart, believe in him, and be saved. That's an important fact, my friends. We don't want to discount that. Very nice. Okay. Against the grain. Last pass. Oh yes, it's beautiful indeed. I'm liking it already. So what team do you belong? Remember, if you belong to the Lord's team, remember, to constantly use humility, to be a humble person. Okay. You must keep that humility that is very important in the Lord's eyes. Remember, you are a sinner. Whether you believe in him or not, you're a sinner. Okay? And be careful lest you fall. Because believe me, it's a possibility that could happen. Now I'm not trying to install doubt in your faith either know fully well that he loves you but he also realizes people can and do change problem spot Beautiful. All right. Very good. <sighs> if you're not a believer, keep in mind, you are a slave to sin. And because of this, and because you refuse to believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 
you belong to your father, the devil. Can it change? By the grace of God, yes, it can change. It will change. But you must place your faith in the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Because there is no other way. Remember, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Think about that. Believe me, my friends, especially those of you who do not believe or are working against him, Jesus loves you with his whole heart. He wants nothing more than for you to come into his presence and to receive blessing from him and a change of heart. If you want eternal life, if you want life forever with peace and happiness, be in him. Ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to show you. Ask him to show you the way. Have Jesus show you the way. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay. Enough is enough is enough, and it's guess what time it is? <gasps> it's fast forward mode time! Lovely, lovely. That went famously. Hmm. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, you guys. Time for the aftershave. Please take some time to subscribe and to share. Remember, sharing does produce fruit. And fruit is not bananas and peaches, but it is more souls for the kingdom of heaven. Woo! That's a stinger. But it smells marvelous. This again is Phoenix, uh, artist and accoutrements, uh, La Tierra Mojada. Oh, beautiful. Oh yes, very good. All right, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who missed at the beginning, guess what, there is that label again. All right, very good. My friends, be blessed in the Lord. He loves you. Remember that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And if the Son sets you free, you'll be free indeed. All right, you guys, I love you very much. Take care. Be blessed in the Lord, and may he give you Nick Free and Baby Butt Smooth Shapes. Have a great day, everyone. Toodles!